Hey there again. We are on the third day of the engine swap. I've got almost everything plugged in. The alternator is now installed. I'm experiencing trouble finding this plug on the on the ECU harness, but it's gonna be somewhere here. So, anyways. New spark plugs. The fourth spark plug had um, some thread damage, but uh, uh, I've had trouble removing the old one. I've used a breaker bar to remove a spark plug. That's amazing. But it, anyways, the new one you know, got screwed in easier than uh, the other one got out. has started coming together again. The highlight of the third day is the, the throttle body. You can see here some uh, copper pipe uh, going through and through on uh, this part of the throttle body. It had some nasty looking actually broken pipes. Yes, they were all rotten and my father decided that it will be a good idea to you know, do this job and save machine shop money. Um, yeah, I can say that this is a pretty good idea. So I'm gonna bend the pipes like a 90 degree or something and uh, I will make a flange so, so the pipe's not going to come off. If you, if you want my opinion, well, uh, I will just delete the whole thing and uh, you know, just make a loop. This pipe needs some uh, uh, heating compound or a thermal paste actually, so the heat is spreading on the throttle body from the pipe to the throttle body and the vice versa. Anyways. This goes to the EGR which is uh, deleted, that's why I block it off, so... After I spent like half an hour looking for this plug, I realized that uh, there's no such thing on the, on the harness. And the reason of why is that uh, the original sensor from the original engine has a two-wire plug. The only difference uh, on the engines uh, is that uh, this engine is made in May of the 99 and the other, the other one was made in, the, in August of 98. This one is a Delphi one. This must be a proprietary. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. So yeah, we'll put this thing in there and uh, we'll see what's going to happen. I'm about to finish, but uh, when I went to install the air intake manifold, I just noticed that uh, those studs are uh, shorter than they should, so I screwed two bolts together and uh, it's going to come out together, something like this. If the thread is long enough, I will leave those things as they are, otherwise I will install those from the other head of the old engine. Nope, it has absolutely nothing to do with each other. It's like half. So yeah, I have to do this whole procedure now. Round two.
I have no idea how there could be such huge differences on the studs. Anyways, hmm. yeah, those will be something like that. The whole thing started getting on my nerves. Disgusting piece of junk. I mean, this head has almost all the threads on the on the exhaust uh, manifold side stripped. I broke two bolts into the threads. No, actually, this one was already broken. I don't know how can I extract the the bolts from the threads. This is just disgusting. I mean, they're all worn out. Like two on the bottom side, they are barely screwing in. I don't know, at least the, the engine is in, almost everything is in place. I don't know. There, there's something, there's something inside me that uh, urges to to fix this this thing here because when this is going to expand, the fumes are going to to escape from from the gasket. There's no way for this to work, probably. Anyways, so yesterday the swap was over and uh, I'm finally back home. I came yesterday, but anyways. So yeah, the engine seems to be working fine, I didn't see any oil or water dripping out. This is the water level from yesterday, seems like it uh, still has what I put in. The oil is at the maximum level, I have no idea about the long term oil consumption, but we will see that. The only problem is that it um, still has those two broken studs, uh, which is something uh, that I have to fix soon because it sounds like a tractor. Well, anyways, at least it works. I'm not that happy with the engine, but uh, yeah, that's all for now. Maybe I still have put a C20 NE inside. <laughs>